Uh, vitamin B12, how much do we need? Well, we need about a, a microgram for, for toddlers going up to about 2.4 micrograms for, for children 14 plus, which is the same as it is for adults. But a, there's a lot of controversy about these amounts or these recommendations. Um, it it uh, it's appears as though we probably need a little bit more. And I would suggest probably about double what is recommended to be to get optimal amounts. Um, a lot of people ask, well, are plant-based eaters at higher risk? And they are. Plant foods are not reliable B12 sources unless they're fortified. Even foods commonly thought to be reliable sources, organic vegetables, seaweed, fermented foods, and mushrooms really should not be relied on as sources of B12. I know that chlorella has some uh, usable B12, but at this point in time, it's better to rely on a B12 supplement or fortified foods uh, as they're, they're simply more reliable uh, sources. And in terms of stores uh, in an adult, stores can last two to three years or more. In, uh, but in in um, in uh, babies, uh, that's not the case. Breastfed babies born to B12 deficient mothers can develop B12 deficiency within months or even weeks of of birth. Uh, we need to be sure of vitamin B12. Breastfed babies require a B12 supplement if the mother does not include consistent, reliable B12 sources in her diet. Uh, formula contains uh, uh, vitamin B12, so formula fed babies, uh, there's no concern. But once breastfeeding slows or stops, infants must be provided with an alternative source of vitamin B12, either in the form of supplement or, or fortified foods, but preferably uh, more reliable is uh, the supplement choice. So what are the symptoms of deficiency? Well, we see regression of developmental skills. We see something ca called hypotonia, which is poor muscle tone vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, failure to thrive, tumors, twi or tremors, twitches, and uh, uh, brain damage. And, and the brain damage one, uh, unfortunately, can be irreversible if this goes on long enough. So this is not something to fool around with, for sure. So what are reliable B12 sources? Well, the most reliable is supplements. Uh, second would be B12 fortified foods. And you certainly can do a combination of those two things. Uh, and then for, you know, lacto-ovo or plant predominant eaters, animal products can be used as well as B12 sources. Uh, so how much B12? Well, we're looking at, uh, for infants, uh, if, if we're supplementing, it's about five micrograms per day. Uh, and then for older children, toddlers, it's about 10, four to eight years old, 25. And then nine to 13 years old, uh, 50 and 14 years plus 100 micrograms. Now, some will say 50 micrograms is enough. And there is some evidence to suggest that uh, this is enough. Um, but if, if, if we do the math on absorption rates uh, based on the information we have, 100 micrograms is, is super safe. <laughs> so uh, that's why I went for 100 micrograms. These are our recommendations that will really ensure uh, adequate levels. Uh, liquid drops or sprays are suggested for children up to three years of age and chewable can be used thereafter. But of course, liquid uh, supplements are always better absorbed. Mm -hmm.